have a dream about the color green, then it makes me happy because green I like a lot. It's a nice color because green is really an earth color when you think about the earth colors. I've been painting since November 2007. Yeah, since I started I sold 163 paintings. Yeah. Human Rights Commission from Auckland and Wellington made a website about me. The website is to inspire people with disability. So the first exhibitions I've done I wanted people to Put the sign up on top of the one where it normally says do not touch or do not take a picture. Um, now I want them to do the opposite. I wanted to say please do touch and please do take a picture. As a curator of art uh, working in the museum sector it's very unusual to be allowed to touch artworks. However what Jan Eve is exploring is the kinesthetic ability of paint and colour to fill your senses and in this case it is likened unto a, a plate or a bowl full of ali olio. When I eat the spaghetti I feel full, lovely and full. That's my favourite part of eating, being full at the end. As you put the headphones on and touch the work and read the words of Yaniv, what strikes me is that you could, if you closed your eyes, start to get the feel that you're in a crowded room or a restaurant. Yeah, it was good to run my hand over it um, and just just get see feel the rays, textures, and combined with the sound, I could pick it up and derive a meaning for myself. The fact that I could use those two senses made it come alive. Visual language art has the ability to transcend all kinds of barriers and and that could be race, gender, uh, spoken language, written language, um, ability, disability, you know, all states that people are constantly sort of jostling to be understood within. So I think the importance of art is that it transcends. The five goals I'm working on are no poverty, sustainable action, and clean water, and underwater. Yeah, goal 11 is sustainable cities and communities. For each goal, I'm creating two pieces of art that have got to do with the same thing, side by side. They'll represent what does or doesn't happen for each goal. This is about sea anemones under the ocean, so if there is uh, enemies living there, then it means that uh, everybody is happy. And there's a lot of things under the sea that are colorful, and there's clean water. So the one that's behind me, mostly like black and blue, it means there's nothing happy about it, and no sea enemies or anything, and it's like dirty water, and it's not safe for people to drink and nobody uh, swims there, no animals live there. People are having to walk for hours to get the clean water when they do not have the clean water around them. It's a shame. What I really love about the application of colour in Yaniv's palette is that without training he understands a complementary simultaneous contrast that happens when you place one colour next to another and so that seems to have become a natural ability of Yaniv's. When I think of poverty, then I see nothing but black, which is like you close your eyes and that's sadness, I call it. They're living as though they're just a shadow because they're hungry. My art is about poverty and hunger. It should not happen in the world. It should just stay how it is for us, really. That's right.